let's take a look at our previous code to load an image. Now remember, it was three lines of code to create an image, set a callback, and then define the source. The first steps in writing an asset manager would be to cache this image once it's loaded so that duplicate calls won't issue a reload, but rather would return the image we've already loaded in memory. To do this, you're going to implement the concept of a cache. What will happen is, the first request will go through and the data will be loaded. When it's loaded, you'll add it to the cache using some key value, like its name, so that subsequent requests, rather than going out to disk or to the web, will check the cache first and return the already loaded asset. What I'd like you to do is to modify the following code so the asset loader checks the cache before attempting to load the image. Now there's a couple things to point out here, is that gcached assets is actually a dictionary object, which means that you need to specify a key and value when accessing and referencing to it. Also take note that here in the image onload callback is where you need to do your heavy lifting to push your data into this cache object. Good luck.